Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. My name is David Gafford, and today we're going to be taking a deep dive into the Vision Grills S Series Kamado Grill, and we've got it all coming up. <laughs> Vision Grills has four current series of Kamados out in the market. Today we're going to be looking at the S series and we're going to give you six months of testing worth of information as we've been using this as our primary Kamado for the last six months here at the Barbecue Lab. The S series has a cooking surface of 604 square inches and that 604 square inches comes from a dual tiered rack that you can cook on. Now, the temperature range is also anywhere from as low as you can light charcoal all the way up to the 700 degree plus range. So you can do everything from low and slow smoking all the way up until high heat searing on this unit. Now, the actual dimensions of this grill, the depth is right a little bit over 28 and a half inches. The width is right around 22 and a half inches and the height is about 47 inches. Now, when you actually put the shelves up from side to side, that's when you have about 52 inches in width of the whole entire grill if you're planning on putting this on a deck or a patio. The assembled weight is right around 103 kilograms or 227 pounds for the unit when it's fully assembled. Now, when it comes to how much surface area you have, we said 604 square inches, but what does that mean when you actually measure it? And I'm gonna show you here. So if you actually measure the grill from outside edge to outside edge, it's right around 22 and a half inches. From inside edge to inside edge, it's right around 20 and a quarter inches. And the grill grate itself, if you actually look at the handles, the handles on the grill grate are gonna measure right around 17 and a half inches between the handles. So that's what you're looking at when, you come, when it comes to the primary cooking surface on the unit. When it comes to picking this unit up at the store versus having it shipped to your home, we heartily recommend that you have this unit shipped. It weighs 230 pounds, basically. And when it comes time to heft this in the back of the van or the truck or the SUV, it is hard to move this thing around in that box. We had ours show up on a truck with a lift gate and someone with a pallet jack got it all the way into our garage no sweat at all. And I gotta tell you, that is the way to have this grill delivered. It feels like concierge service, but it's just someone with a lift gate bringing it right to your house. We heartily recommend that. Now, when it comes to the packaging on this grill, Vision Grills really got it right. They use those cardboard corners that to reinforce the edges of the box. And the box was in perfect condition when it arrived. The banding was still around all of the outside of the grill. And the charcoal that we got with the grill was actually strapped to the top and it was in fantastic shape. So not every grill that we get here at the lab arrives in such great shape, but this one really, really did. So hats off to Vision for actually pack packaging this in a way that's going to protect it when it's shipped. As soon as you snip the plastic bands that go around the uh, pallet and the unit, you can slide the top of the box all the way off. And if you haven't actually assembled a lot of grills before, this is a huge advantage because we assemble a lot of grills here at the Barbecue Lab. And this is by far one of the easiest assemblies we've ever had in the multiple couple years we've been doing this. So all we did is we slid the top of the box off and we were able to take out all of the pieces of the, of the Kamado and set them off to the side without having to lift the entire Kamado out of the box. That is something that is a huge benefit in the way that the Vision has actually assembled this. On this unit, the directions actually made sense. Not all grill directions and assembly directions make sense when you go to put something together, but these directions were crisp and clear and made sense the entire way. It only took us about 20 minutes to assemble the unit, and we only needed a second person to be able to lift the Kamado out of the box and into the stand once we had it built. Now, the next logical step that most people take is seasoning the grill, and there's actually no need to season a Kamado grill because these grills are actually fired in a kiln in excess of 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit, so there's no worries about going ahead and going in and seasoning the grill or cooking off any of the oils or things. You can cook with this right out of the box and you're ready to go. When it comes to safety features on this grill, you know that the outside of any grill can really get piping hot, but the thing I like about this grill is this exterior is actually 
not cool to the touch, but not hot to the touch while you're cooking either. If you had a child who was, who was to run up and put their hands on the grill while you were grilling, it wouldn't burn their hands and need to send them to uh, the emergency room. It would be warm, but it wouldn't be burning them right off, right off. And I like the fact that they've made the outside where you can touch it without injuring yourself. There are many ways to start up a Kamado grill, but our favorite method goes just like this. We go in and we take any of the lump charcoal that was left from the last cook and we brush it around the inside of the grill using some thick rubber gloves to keep our hands from getting completely messed up. Once we've actually knocked off all of that ash, what we'll do is we'll take a little bit of fresh lump charcoal and pour it on top. Once we pour that on top, we'll create a small little well and we'll put a fire starter inside. Once you light that fire starter, our suggestion is to leave the lid open for probably about five minutes to let that fire starter have access to as much oxygen as it needs to be able to light that charcoal up. After you hit the five minute mark, that's when you can go ahead and shut the lid and open the vents for the intake and the output vent to be able to make sure that you control the air moving through the grill. But since you've created that well, the fire starter inside that well is going to light the charcoal all the way around the outside, and you should have a really good start to things while your dog runs through the frame. And you should have a really good start to things by the time that you close the lid so that oxygen coming in through the intake vents and the output is going to give you just enough to be able to achieve your desired temperature. When it comes to fuel for Kamado grills, we recommend lump charcoal over any other fuel. You can use briquette charcoal in this, but briquette charcoal turns to ash really quickly as soon as it's actually been lit, and it's hard to reuse that charcoal that's press formed out of sawdust. We recommend lump charcoal because you can push it around the bottom, knock off the ash, and use it over and over again to cook on your grill before it's completely consumed. Now, lump charcoal also burns hotter than standard briquettes, and so you find that you actually need less fuel to be able to achieve the same uh, end result with this grill. Now, out of the box, grilling is really where this unit shines, because as you're getting to know the Kamado-style cooker, you can be able to get up into the 400, 500 range and learn where your Kamado grill wants to be, depending on how much fuel you put in, and how much air intake you let the fire have based on the dials in the front. We like to grill in the 500 to 600 degree range, and we find that we can get an amazing sear while not burning the meat or anything else that we're cooking over a long period of time. There are two grates that you can use with the Vision S series. There's the bottom grate that goes all the way across the middle section of the grill at its widest point. That grill grate also has a second tier that you can place on top, and the second tier that you can place on top is fantastic to be able to increase the amount of space you have to cook on this grill. Now, for smoking with this unit, we really recommend the Lava Stone and the Bracket, which is a separate add-on that you can purchase to be able to make this a great smoker. The Lava Stone and the Bracket will sit above the fire and between the fire and the actual grate that you're cooking on. This makes it so that the heat and the fire have to go around the lava stone before it actually reaches the thing that you're cooking, keeping it from harsh direct heat during your cook. That's why we find this to be a great addition to turn this into a smoker even more than a grill. When it comes to storing the grill, for the first three months, we stored this vision unit inside our garage and it stayed in immaculate shape. We had no rust, we had no uh, outside elements that were playing with it. We'd take it outside, we'd cook with it, we'd wheel it back in the garage, and it stayed in perfect showroom shape. Now, for the next three months, we took it outside and it did begin to weather a bit. Now, it comes with a cover that Velcros down the side that allows you to be able to fit it on easily and then just Velcro it up. Now, with that cover, it does protect it from the elements. Rain stayed off, snow stayed off, what we found is that the humidity here in the Midwest kept some moisture underneath the cover that did begin to have an effect on the grill. We saw a little bit of rust that happened up on the top vent cap, and we began to see a little bit of moisture inside the thermometer after about a three month period. Now, is that to be expected? I think that that's pretty common to what we see around here. What you can't see is that we have three or four other grills just outside of the shot here, and we're seeing the same kind of thing happen to those as we're testing them over time as well. So if you wanna keep your grill in tip-top shape, 
by all means store it in the garage or store it in some kind of an enclosed environment. But if you're going to keep it outside, we highly recommend that you use the cover to be able to keep the elements and the weather off and do the best that you can to keep it in tip top shape. Now here's some of the things that we really loved about this unit. One was the new side shelf material. Now the previous Vision grills that we tested were, had their side shelves made out of wood and while that's great, I found that I actually made the mistake of taking a hot cast iron pan and setting it on that wood uh, side shelf and burning a ring into it without even thinking about it in about 10 seconds. These new side shelves are called thermoplastic side shelves and we find that they remind me of Trex decking, that not wood but not plastic decking that you can put out on your deck. I find that they remind me of that material and they seem to be a lot more robust. When I'm lighting up the grill and I find that sparks are coming out, the sparks don't melt this material or burn this material as easily and I actually do like that. The shelves are weighty and they're foldable and they're also removable. It's really easy to take one of the shelves off. In fact, it just goes like this. You can take a shelf off. It's just these two little, these two little, uh, what do you call those? You take the shelf off, it has these two little bolts that you can keep on. You just rest it in the hole, and there you go. And setting it up is just as easy. You bring it up, set it underneath, and it's strong. It actually will hold it. Another thing we like about this is the cart and the wheels. The cart is really sturdy, and it ha hasn't been phased when we take it over a bump or when we take it over the lip of our garage. Now, two of the wheels are locking, which is something we really like in that we have a slanted driveway, and if the wheels didn't lock, we'd find our grill sliding all around, and we'd find it in the neighbor's yard, probably. So we love the wheels, really like the cart, and feel like this is a great improvement over the last grill that we reviewed from Vision. Another thing we really like about this is the easy ash management. Now, they talk about this having a dual fuel system, and the dual fuel system allows you to have either gas or charcoal as your primary fuel. The ash management comes along with that because as you pull out the charcoal front, there's a drawer that's hooked all the way to it that contains all of the ash from your cooks. You just pull the front out, take the drawer, dump it in the garbage can when the ash is, is uh, cold, and you're back and in business. Another thing we like are the multiple colors that are available. Ours is in the taupe color, but there's also black, there's chili red, there's orange, as well as white. So you don't just see the only two colors that seem to be on the market in so many different places. There's five different color options available, and we like the taupe because it happens to match our house, which is kind of lovely for us. Now I want to go over a few tips in regards to this grill. I talked about it earlier, but in regards to shipping versus store pickup, definitely go the shipping route. It is amazingly heavy, and the less you have to lug it around and lift it up and mess with it, the better. Uh, assembly only took us about 20 minutes, and I found that I only needed one other person for just the lift that I was taking the actual Kamado and putting it on the cart, so that's a fantastic thing. Assembly is really quick, but make sure you have one other person around, and I find that the promise of future barbecue is a great uh, resource to be able to get someone to help you out. When it comes to startup on the Vision S series, we usually plan right around 20 minutes to get the grill going. Um, that 20 minutes is when we're grilling in the 400 to 500 range. If we're smoking, I usually only need probably 10 or 12 minutes to be able to get it up to smoking temperature. But if I'm really in a bind, what I like to do is I like to grab my loof lighter. And the loof lighter allows me to light up the charcoal in the Vision S series in between three to five minutes to completely ready to cook. It's a fantastic accessory that I recommend to every uh, Kamado grill owner, and it works especially well with the Vision. So overall, what are our thoughts about the Vision S Series grill? The Vision S Series Kamado is really a fantastic option for anyone who wants a quality Kamado that can do everything from high heat grilling and searing to low and slow smoking. Vision's made all the right moves to be able to make it easy for anyone from the professional barbecue team all the way down to the person cooking with charcoal for the first time to find success with the S-Series grill. Now, if you'd like to check out the current price on the Vision S-Series Kamado and any offers that we're aware of on this particular unit, go ahead and check out the link below. And while you're at it, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we'd love to have you join us as we review the best in outdoor cooking and outdoor living. We put out a new video every week so you can buy the best and leave out the rest. I'm David from the Barbecue Lab, and I can't wait to see you 
next time.